Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger! I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, last time, the army of the Demon King invaded our village, killed a bunch of people, and then got driven off by the Western Hero, who handed uh, our friend here a scroll with instructions to take it to the other side of the island. Are you an enemy, or...? No, okay. I don't know why I did that. That's not the fireball one. God damn it. He was facing the wrong way, so the knockback actually made him fly into me. Because, of course, you know, back in the day, they would have just programmed it with a simple, when he gets hit, make his character model move the opposite direction that he's facing. Rather than actually figuring out where the attack is coming from. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I didn't even see that guy up there. Oh. Oh, I have died. That did a lot more damage than I was expecting. Oh, a new customer. What? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. Huh? But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble. At your service, I'm the one you never would have met had you any skills. Oh. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay, what's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. Oh no. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I'm bored. Oh god. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Seems we have a deal! Glad we see eye to eyes. Carry on, then. She even unlocked Eye of the Shareholder. I don't like that he's still moving while it's paused. Meet Quarble. I bet there is an achievement for beating this game without meeting him. Huh. Wait a minute, why don't I just... Oh, okay, can't cling to that. Good to know. Oh, hey. I need that. I mean, there's some loot right there. Why don't you just grab that, my dude? Oh, wait! Oh, right. Okay, that'll be about as strong as one sword, won't it? I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that. Okay, you know what? I am just gonna throw my other shuriken at you to make this simpler on myself. Yeah, okay. God damn you! Get back here and stop pacing on your little platform! There we go. Ah. Hey, where'd he go? Oh. Well, that's not too bad, then. I guess he did get bored. I kind of thought that was just a joke. I could do it the other way, but... I mean, they put these platforms here. Bet you thought I would forget he would respawn. Oh, I see, that is a problem. Fine. Fine. Okay, you're dead. So strictly speaking, you could, like, do away with the debt thing by just standing there every time. That sounds, uh... I don't know, I don't want to try and cheat the guy who's literally saving my life, so, uh... Maybe I'll just make the best of it. Oh! Wow, I 
Hello there, corner. Hmm. What? No. Piss. get exactly on there. I could kick off and get up. I think it makes him let go. Hmm. Well, I don't need health right now anyway, so screw it. Oh, I'm just a dumbass. That's what that is. Yeah, that's the trick. You need to use the, uh, the, the cloud jump. Cloud step. Oh. Fuck. You know, I assumed those were death drops, but I don't know that. Maybe that's like stuff down there. My health is low, and I don't want to check it out right this instant. Oh, hey, there was a... Do I go back for that other health thing? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I'm gonna press forward. Literally, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to press forward. And also sword. I'm going to press sword a bunch. I guess it has to look like those blocks specifically. Aha! Another one of these symbols. It's, a, it's still pointing up, which is weird. Well, I hate this. actually. It just looked really complicated. Oh! So, it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. What was that big green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? It's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm not really sure what they do. I can tell you that finding them all is optional, but if you're the kind of adventurer that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for hidden rooms. And who knows, it may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade! <laughs> anyway, I'll be in my shop. I didn't know he could do that. Or that he was watching me all the time. I don't know how to feel about that. Achieve an unlocked challenge expected. Destroy your first power seal. Hmm. Oh, I can't do that yet because I can't attack down. Neat. Uh, this is what happens when I press, well, whatever select is called these days. Scroll to scroll your task of carrying to the top of the mountain. Climbing claws. Press towards walls while airborne to cling to them and climb at your leisure. Energy Shuriken. Ranged attack. Tap into your mind's key charges, allowing you to throw Energy Shuriken with Y. Cloud Step. Scoring a hit in the air lets you jump again. Jump, hit, jump. Power Seals. Seemingly li linked to a mysterious chest found in the shop. Okay, perhaps smashing them all will let you open it. Alright. Did someone tell you that was a secret passage? My brother used to do that.
You know what? I'll just climb. It'll be fun. Wait! I didn't make it back to this, so I don't know if I actually... Alright, let's go back over there. And, uh... Make sure... Okay. I just wanted to be sure that it, I didn't have to get the thing all over again. I'm guessing the gradient is important there. Is this because I died, or am I actually going in a new direction? I can't honestly tell the difference anymore. No, this is a new direction. Okay. So I just dropped straight fuck down and uh, took care of those uh, seals. Except there was only one, so I don't know why I said it in the plural. No, no, I have been here. Shit. <laughs> so much for my confidence. I had Corbel left. Lame. Well, not lame, actually, but, you know, it's nice to have a friend, I guess. Bite your fucking ankles off! What I really want to know is if there's a document somewhere with hand-drawn versions of every enemy with giving them goofy names. That is what we need to make it a perfect replica of uh, games from the 80s. Hold it down, but you can't just keep mashing forever. No. Still thinking of the John G a Guy Den joke. I never played those, but I am at least aware that the uh No Me and my shuriken is running out. I'm at least aware that the protagonist of Ninja Gaiden is named Ryu something. Oh, no, there is a chest here now. What's with a big, mysterious chest? It appeared and you smashed your first power seal. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, hey, level boss. Looks like you're almost at the end of this area. Did I forget to mention there was a giant leaf monster guarding the exit? You did. <laughs> that look on your face. Don't worry, my dear adventurer. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Oh, is it a full moon right now? Yes. Oh, that's... I didn't mean to... Well, good luck. I was kind of hoping there'd be something in there about a weakness. I kind of want to save up for one of these. Or, no, uh, not that. Like, the... Uh, Enemies will drop a hit point. Enemies will drop a key charge. Because that seems really fucking important. So I'm just going to walk away. Here we go. Well, shit. Oh, why did I jump? Oh, I see. But I can't like get under that when I duck. Oh shit. No.
Oh, don't stand, you moron! Yeah, he's blinking. That's good, I think. Oh! oh. Back off. No! I forgot about that. I forgot they spread out when he did that. That projectile looked like a health potion to you. <laughs> God damn it. My one true foe. Ah, oh, I didn't jump fast enough. That's a cool ability, though, the leaves going on and off of his body. Ah! Come on, uh... I'm over here now. Do I have to hit him first? Hey! Victory is mine! Now I am the leaf monster. Except not really. Forlorn Temple. You should have seen it, my guy. That was awesome. Need anything? current area. Forlorn Temple, huh? That's a sad one. How so? Haven't paid much attention during history lessons, have you? Ventura types rarely do, I get it. So the short of it is, that four-headed monster would have killed you earlier if that cooler-than-you hero hadn't intervened? That's the Demon King. He brought his armies to the human realm many centuries ago and destroyed their stronghold, forcing them to retreat into hiding. And he's been sitting on their throne ever since. You mean this is all that's left of the human legacy? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. No way, I will go and take down that demon king right now. You wouldn't be the first to try. Well, I can't just stand by while some evil monster gloats over my people's misery. You are still too weak to consider taking on even his second in command. I'm going. I bet you can't even make it to the entrance without falling into the pit. Watch me! Oh, I will. Sure, let's have some stories. Of course, here's one for you. There once was a princess looking for a suitable husband. She sent an invitation to all neighboring princes, stating that the main trait she was looking for was sensitivity. Contenders came and went, attempting to pass her test. You will be my guest tonight, the princess would explain. All I need you to do is sleep on that pile of mattresses. Okay, so I see where this, what this is referencing. I don't know where this is going, obviously. Since this game seems to be all about messing with you. The next morning, she would ask them how their night was. I had the best sleep of my life, each would reply, confident they had proved they didn't fear the dark, or that they could be easy guests. They're all promptly dismissed. One day, an especially sensitive prince reported he couldn't sleep at all. I don't know what was up with that pile of mattresses he went on. It looked comfortable enough. When I laid on it, it was like I had a fork stuck in my kidney. They got married the next day. Oh, everyone knows that story. There was a pee underneath the pile so that someone who's extremely sensitive wouldn't be able to sleep. Yes, but have you ever heard of what happened after? Oh? Uh? For the first few weeks, everything was amazing. The prince would always complain. Just the guy she asked for. When the soup wasn't too hot, it's the cutlery that was too cold. And the music wasn't too loud, the paintings were uninspired. 
And the clothes weren't itchy. The poems were predictable. Until one day, just like that, it dawned on the princess that she was in a toxic relationship. Not only was her husband a drag, she had voluntarily picked him for exactly that reason! It dawned on her just like that how this whole love story was nothing more than two people whose dysfunctions matched like puzzle pieces. Incredibly humble by regal standards, she realized that she was the only constant in all her problem, delved into personal growth, then got a divorce. She lived happily ever after. The end. Huh. Okay, okay. I just keep expecting a funny line there. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Messenger. When we head into the Forlorn Temple. And, uh... We'll kick some demon ass! Later.